What's going on, gentlemen? Welcome back to Dark Cloud. Once again, I'm the Lonesome Ralph. Now, guys and gals, we're not going to do too much. We're not going to do too much. In other words, we're not going to do too much. We're going to head straight on over to Shipwreck. Okay. See, now, normally, if something like that happened to start, I would stop and then start again. But, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling like I'm going to go over today, you know, because even though I still cannot speak fucking YOLO. Anyway, Shipwreck. Okay. Hey, still a normal level. Wait, really, buddy? We only had one Atlas on the level? I didn't notice that. Wow. I, 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 I must have glazed over that completely. Wow. Okay. Dum, dum. All right, Booker is back with his badass weapon, baby. Okay. Uh, sweet. Let's have a quick uh, drink on some water. Water. I've actually completely I forgot what we actually need for the uh, thingy jig now. Uh, actually, forget I don't really think about this. We should really give these to uh, uh, good old Ruby. Ruby, 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 Ruby. <laughs> Why you got some boobies? <laughs> anyway, okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, yeah, what do we need to get for this? Uh, attack, magic power. Thunder, fire, and undead. Sweet. I actually, I literally am continuing on from my uh, point before, but I just completely managed to forget. Okay. I'm kind of hoping that is going to be enough magic power, and I'd be quite surprised if it isn't, because that is an awful lot of magic power now, to be fair. So, I mean, it would make sense to be that. Oh, a frog and cherry? I haven't seen you in a while, to be fair. All right. I think this is a good time, if we could, anytime soon, to get a bonus thing. A kind of handy, to be fair. Mark. <laughs> we found Markiplier. Yay. Hello, Mask of Perdona. Fucking cheers for that, lad. All right. Still a beefy amount of XP. That's, that's such a huge chunk them mask thing gives us, though. It lets you as soon as I kill one of them. Like, watch, watch the beefiness. This might actually even level up the next point. Look at that. Is that, is that enough? Go on. Oh, it's, not, it's so close to being enough, though. That's a crazy amount, though. Anyway, let's uh, move another Ansto amulet onto there. We don't have one. Ooh, we'll put anti, we'll anti freeze then. Why not? Uh, doo -doo -doo. Perfect. Okay. So I'm just making sure I've got all the stuff. I've only got one of these left. Oh, I remember that. I, 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 when I was doing the uh, part in Divine Beast Cave, I think I got poisoned a bunch. I think that's why I've only got one of them left. I had, I had like a bit of a bad streak, basically. Anyway, it is done. The moment of truth is ahead of us. Oh. Okay. Um, magic power upgrade. See if this is enough. I'm really hoping this will be enough. I can imagine it will be. A1 seems to be right. Please. Oh, that's so painful. That's going to take so long. Okay. That's not good. But the one good thing about it is that we can actually now just start ignoring the first two. Because obviously every time we do our like level up a single thing, we manage to increase our like all our attack and magic power actually increase by one point every single time we upgrade anyway. So what we could do is we can completely utterly ignore that one entirely, try and focus on undead and uh was it ice and f what was it again? Thunder, thunder and ice, uh, thunder and fire, sorry. Um, undead fire, under fire, that we can sort of focus on them to kind of just build them ones up, because then we can kind of just like allow for the magic power and attack to kind of build up normally. If not, we're gonna have to kind of get out of our way and kind of buy magic power and buy attack ones. I mean, if we get, if we get into like a dungeon area and we find a bunch of them, I will happily like attach them on to make it go quicker, but um, it's quite good they do go up naturally as well. Pardon me, do apologize. Okay, <laughs> apologize, apologize from the boop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a weird mood. I'm just really happy about the weapon really going up so quick. Snake! Snake! Okay, so I'm pretty sure that's the fortune teller lady's snake, which we were, which I was not talking about before. Endurance 1. Not the best. Might come in handy later on. Hello, Cursed Rose. Cursed Rose. Alright. Oh, not that much uh, XP this time. Kind of a bit more brutal this this time. Oh, so... Huh. Okay, do I remember rightly that this, yeah, uh, with blue beam. Okay, so I think we now have to change, wait, so I think now it's, as, it's, as it is ice, it should be okay to do this for us. I think as it's blue. Hey, okay. I, I always forget, because that, that's actually teaching you something for later on. Because um, I think it might be the final boss, or one of the final bosses actually do rely on you actually changing your attributes as you battle him. That's kind of a very annoying thing. Like, it breaks the atmosphere quite a lot. You have to pause, go on to your thing, change it up, and you have to go back again. It's just, like, quite unimmersive, but it's, it's, it's a good little concept anyway. It kind of mixes up the fight, the fight as a whole. Holy shit, them guys still had a bunch of bloody XP. I think if I ever want to kind of burn through this level, this uh, weapons kind of levels, I think I definitely will just come back here and just burn through all these guys. Oh, even, even they do fucking a lot, to be fair. Rotten fish, yay! <laughs> fucking love rotten fish. Christ, alright. 
<laughs> Torch! Yay! Alright, I'm feeling that this way is not going to be the way I need to go. Or well, the way not with the exit. Hey! Look at that! I got it right. Hello, Mr. Chariot! Oh shit, he's gonna fuck me up! Huh? Oh, fucking Matrix dodge. There we are. How are we doing? How that do oh, that does a lot as well! Oh my god, they, they, they just. These people and these enemies here just give us so much XP, it's crazy! And. Uh, there we are, perfect. Alright. I think one of the main, the main annoying things about the chariots is the fact they always just constantly move backwards. And obviously, as when you lock on or anything like that, so you just don't move too quick as such. It's just so hard to kind of keep up with them the entire time. Anyway. We, we, we may possibly be able to level up again in the same episode. Holy moly. All right, come on. Cursed Rose. Oh, holy moly, damn. Okay, that's fucking hell. Much power for a curse amulet. Christ. I actually didn't know they, um, every time they hit you, they actually curse you. I didn't know that. Wow, that's quite cool. In all fairness, though, the curses never really affect me too much, to be fair, just because of the fact that I, like, never really change weapons and such. Um, do I have another cursed one? I do. Cool. To be fair, this is actually quite... Actually, ooh, is it worth doing goo instead? Yeah, I think it's worth doing goo, so I haven't actually been frozen yet, I don't think. Um, well, except for that Sam bloke, I guess, but I mean, we'll, we'll leave that for now. But, um, yeah, I mean... I don't even know what I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, I think goo is a lot more predominant than like other stuff as well, so I mean, I may as well. I'm being so like silly. I'm just sort of like, just going for it like, as a whole. I'm not really being too fussed about what I do. Anyway... Not intentionally, I just I sort of like accidentally am doing it. Well, well I guess I kind of am intentionally doing it because I know what I'm doing, but... Oh, Come on. Sorry about this, I'm being a bit of a plonker. There we are. <laughs> bit of a plonker. Eh, I'm being a bit of a plonker. <laughs> I don't even know. Alright. Oh, wow. Wow, powerful another one of them bad boys. Okay, that was uh, maybe not the best move, but oh well. Alright. Mr. Adler Man. Adler, 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 Adler. Adler. Divining House. Yes, Divining House is the place with a fortune teller, I'm pretty sure, anyway. And she's like, Oh my god, I saw the moon orb in my dreams, child. Alright. Take my hand, child. No, take my strong hand. Hey, transfer, nice. Alright. Now, for a bit of pixels, would make a man so happy. Alright. That's basically every video game ever, to be fair. Like, you never expect a couple of pixels to make a man so happy. Or. Well, that could be the same for anime porn. I, well, I don't really mind, you know, as you do. I said that was so weird. I was like, anime porn! There we are. Beautiful. All right. Hey, Mr. Hooky Hook. Nice. Okay. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. All right. But anyway, so, like, something I touched on, like, in my previous episode, I was talking about how, um... I was sort of just generally looking through like the where my my views kind of come from, and I found it quite interesting actually. Like fifty percent of my uh, viewership actually comes from the US. I mean, I expected that, but I have to admit, I expect a lot, a lot more like kind of like UK viewers as such. I mean, especially as I am well English, you know, I mean, as I am from Angled, or Anglais. Uh, fucking, that's why I'm speaking French. And Anglais means English, not Eng Eng England. Anyway, um, but uh, yes, I mean like <laughs> Anglaisland. There you go. Um, but like. Nah, I'm not, I'm not trusting you. Not trusting you, Broski. I just have a bad feeling about that one. Um, but no, so it's quite interesting. So I think it's like it was like 50% of my views come from the US, which is, to be fair, is surprising, but not surprising because the US is huge. To be fair, so I mean, it's expected that a lot of them would come from that kind of area. And then like um, it's like 25% were like from the UK, and it's like 10% from. No, it's, it's really weird. It's like like it's like it, like like as I said, like I think it's like 20% actually from the UK, and then the rest of the percentage that like, comes like from around the world. And it's quite cool. I just really like the fact that like my content has spread out that far. Um, and it's just really quite cool to kind of see the fact that I know that someone like a complete different country. That was really weird. Um, complete different country to me actually has seen my content. That's just quite cool to me. I don't know why. Anyway. Uh oh. Holla, holla, holla. Hold on. Why is this place blue? I. Oh, hang on. I, I think this. <laughs> Again, another Dalek demonstration. He's like, the stairs! My weakest enemy! My strongest enemy, sorry. Alright, come on. I have the strange feeling, folks. This may be the final level. Especially as we got the, um... Yeah. This could very well be the final level. Ooh, we have only powered through queens so fast. Holy shit. Anyway, sign, yes. Especially if this place is full of Atla. I mean, that would kind of make sense for us to kind of fill up on the rest of the stuff we have. Because, I mean... Although we had like three more locations to find, we didn't actually have that much kind of items as such to need because we had loads of them already. So this could very well be the final level. I, I, I it's because it's blue. It's just generally making me feel that like it is the final level because 
This one ends really bizarre. Oh, oh my god. It just suddenly came back to me with all the bosses in, the, in this uh, dungeon. I remember spending so much time trying to beat this boss. I'm really hoping that just because I was younger... Oh, Patan. Wow, Anson, you know, like, fucking since I played this game. I think it's a fishing lure. I'm pretty sure, 100% pretty sure it's a fishing lure, but... Ah, uh, now I think about it. I'm, I mean, I, was, I said before, like, before I went to the monkey boss in uh, Wise Out Forest, I was like... I'm, I'm nervous about knowing if this is the end or not now. Man, this place is really weirdly laid out. I don't like it. It's just, it's, it oh, jeez, I don't know. It feels, it's because it's so bright and this was not like this before, like this is like ominously blue. And I'm pretty sure this means that this is going to be like the next area would be the next area, would be like it will be the final power up powder. That's pretty fucking sweet. I'll use that on Bella in a bit maybe, I'm not too sure. I have a really bad feeling. I, I generally am thinking this basket store, that's another building. I think this might be the final floor. It's just, it just seems so, so blue. <laughs> Everything's so fucking blue. Anyway, um, hello, Mr. Mask Man. We may be able to level up this bad boy again. Fucking how beautiful is that? All right. Oh my god! Oh, we need to find like a couple more enemies. We'll be done with this fucking weapon, like level again. Oh my god. Um. Oh my, I'm so no. A leaning tower as well. I I forgot about that place as well. That's uh, that's one of the, like the. Um, we have a couple of pieces for that already. Okay, sir. So, it is! Oh! How are we here already? Oh my god, I did not expect this. I, 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 holy shit, I, that sounded really fake. I was like, I did not expect this. Oh my god. No, I mean, I generally am really surprised right now. Um, there's a music box. Wow, I, I am stunned. Holy shit, I did not expect that at all. Um, okay, that's, that's really throwing me off now, after me. That's not a bad thing, I mean... That means we're right near the ends, but like, I didn't expect that. Holy shit! Okay, this. Okay, come on, Paris Jarrett. I, 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 I. Wow, I, I didn't expect this so far. I mean, this is. How, have, how on earth will we power manage to power through this entire, like, section so quickly? Sorry, uh, Auntie. Managed to kill you again, and we're leveled up like an absolute boss. Oh my god, that's really weird. I, I, that's the strangest thing about me actually knowing this at the end was the fact that as soon as we actually managed to get the head to an area that was blue, I like instantly like thought, this is the end. And I was like, I know this place. Okay, that's uh, level up this bad boy. I'll be very surprised if that's enough fire. If that is, I was, I was, I was fucking dreaming for a sec there. Um, let's pop on two of those bad boys. Bad boys, bad boys, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Oh my fucking wheel. Pretty degrading on uh, the amount of uh, attachments we have at the moment. We'll just do that for now, just to kind of like beef up a little bit. Okay. Hello, Mask of Panasia. Do you still give me a bunch of XP? It's just still a big chunk, to be fair, for the level we're actually at at the moment. I can't believe- I'm, I'm just quite surprised I even remember this is the final part. Like, just because of the blue, like, something linked to me straight away, I was like, <gasps> I've been here before. <laughs> okay. Um... So, obviously, if you guys and girls can't gather, like, as I said before, like, in pretty much every single dungeon, you'll find you'll get to, like, the final kind of level before the boss, and you'll have to kind of return back to the surface to kind of get one final thing. Pretty much what's happened here is the same kind of thing. We have to return back to the top, and, uh, we have to... Excuse me, love, do you mind? Thank you, okay. Um, yeah, we have to return back to the top and build, build, build up the rest of the ta town, and sort of find the rest of the stuff. Ah! You fucking licked me, you fuck. There we are. You fuck. You licked me, you fuck. I don't know. Um. Nah, no, 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 no. I was gonna, I was gonna do that. Then I was like, oh no, 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 no. I've got very excited all of a sudden. I'm like, oh, we're at the end. Oh, oh. oh my words. Oh, I did not expect this so soon. Damn, son. I, I really did not expect this so soon. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of amazed that we actually managed to get to this point so fast. I swear, Queens has only been like a couple of episodes. I mean, like Divine Beast Cave took us a little bit of time. But, like, this has taken us no time at all. Wow. Anyway, uh, sorry, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm kind of, I'm really, really stunned. Anyway, Ruby, 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 Ruby. Uh, 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 uh. Beautiful. All right. So, moving on back to Booker, back to Booker, back to Booker. But no, I do remember very vividly spending a lot of time trying to beat the last, this boss in this place. Because it is a, a bit of a. I can't see, so I assumed her defense was down, and I did quite lucky then. Okay. Um, but no, I, I, I remember spending a long time on that boss, because it is a bit of a... 
It's a bit of a change of like speed in a sense of what bosses we're kind of used to at the moment. Hello, chariot. Didn't actually expect you. Elf. Bloody hell's a bit of matrix dodge, I was. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. All right. Ah, oh, give me a finger, Jake. Okay. It's quite a good way to make sure there's no enemies left. <clears throat> Holy moly! <laughs> My voice went for a second. I was like, Arr. all right. Okay, well, I guess without further ado, we need to leave the dungeon, because we do not have the right equipment right now. Dun dun dun! Good old uh, fairy, giving us a favor. Ah, oh, dear. Okay, I am uh, praying to sweet Mary Jesus that this will go okay. Alright. I'm hoping we haven't done anything wrong, and I'm hoping we haven't missed anything. I hope the game hasn't glitched out, because I do know in some areas it can glitch out and not allow you to continue out. But that actually becomes a lot more predominant, well, that's actually a lot more possible in some areas later on in the game. Um, I think it's the last kind of... Not the last dungeon, but the second last dungeon I think that happens in. Uh, ignoring the bonus dungeon, which eventually happens later on. But, um, okay. So, we may as well... Uh, Yes, yeah, I saw make sure we had enough time, and we do. So we should pop this here. The Basker store. Look at the Basker store. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really thrown off by the fact we're actually done. Okay. Let's put the good old uh, Fumjig there. Uh, oh, you give me a gift. Look at that. Look at, look at how nice the bloody divine place is. There we are. We'll do this place first. Let's uh, focus on this place first. Divine house. Uh, Phil. <laughs> Phil. <laughs> bloody Yaya. And Yaya does not need much for a house, does she? Okay. Oh, I love it when the uh, thing comes on. Just I'm about to do something. Adventure day 22, dusk. I always find it when I do this, like when I sing to this to tune. I, I can always imagine, like, when you guys hear it, it's like, it's so out of sync. Because I, like, I can imagine, the, like, my speaking and the uh, audio of the game's just, like, tiny bit out of sync. I can imagine when it's doing it. And there's a lot of stuff here. Thanks for that. It's like, oh, there's so much Zelda ness to it. Cause I mean, like, I have not, I have not seen much Zelda whatsoever in my entire lifetime. But like, one of the earliest, earliest Zeldas, I swear, at one point when they say the line like, "It's dangerous to go alone." Here, take this. I swear they have a scene like this where there's like a part where there's like loads of torches around a room and there's a guy standing at the front like on some steps. I, it's something like this. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, yeah. Oh shite! I remember what this. I remember what this woman does to us now. Christ. Anyway, um, this is. She's a bit weird, this character. I've just remembered. Anyway, oh boy, you have to—you have a bad omen about you. Be careful. Um, I, I, I'm Yaya. I'm, uh, I'm the town fortune teller. He he he. Good to meet you. She's quite, she's quite, she's quite cool at the same time. Do you need anything for your place? Um, my trademark is the snake. That's the most important. The snake. If you forget it, my fortune telling will only be half as accurate. Well, there you go. Let's quickly get this done. I believe I got my snake for your love. It's in between my bloody legs. Ha <laughs> ha. I don't know. Anyway. Let's uh, finish off the snake house for her. Snakey snake. I can imagine in this episode, folks, we won't be facing on the final boss in this place. We'll probably just simply just kind of like finishing off the town, getting the places, doing the requests, and then we'll do the final boss in the next episode. I'm not too sure. We'll see. Hello, Yaya. Oh, it's you. Look at this. My defining house has been completely restored. And I, I owe it all to you, young man. Thanks for learning my name, love. You're a good fortune teller. You should know this shit. Oh, pardon me. Um, I'll tell you your fortune, free of charge. Come visit me anytime. Oh, okay. Oh, I remember this now. Yeah, of course. Um, any request for rebuilding to Queens? Oh, lately I've been really accurate. Uh... Oh, lately I've been really accurate. I think this. I think it's because of the white snake. What? Okay, I'm, I'm guessing I might have accidentally already fulfilled this thing. Anyway, um, can you tell my fortune? <laughs> this is kind of strange, this is. Anyway, um, oh, you're back. And what part of your f uh, fortune do you want me to tell? Uh, uh, oh, that's such a good one. Yeah, where is the moon orb? I, I don't actually know if we can do this later on, like if we can actually return back to her later on, but <laughs> this is <laughs> this is quite weird. I, <laughs> I just, just prepare yourself for this. Um, well, let us begin. Are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> just straight up just sits on her face. It's just so weird. Um, pumpkin panty fortune telling. Here we go. It's so bizarre. Anyway. I thought that when they come up with that in the, in the game designer place. In level 5 studio. They're like, what the fuck? Boom. Boom. Lana! Oh, that's a fruit merchant looking strangely at some kind of ball. Hmm, carrying it away somewhere. Oops, that's it. You bitch, get back here! <laughs> Buddy Lana, I knew she knew something. Cheeky little rascal. 
<laughs> there, that's it. <laughs> She's like, was that as good for you as it was for me? <laughs> well, you know, um, can you tell me my fortune? Let's find out what the Dark Genie is. Oh, you're back, and what part of your fortune do you want me to tell? Where is the Dark Genie now? They're only very, very short snippets, but I'll show you both of them, to be fair, just in case you feel like you missed out on anything. Um, well, let us begin. Are you ready? Yes, love, put your vagina on my face. Uh, ah! <laughs> Can you imagine if that's actually the sound effects they used? Anyway, um, Pumpkin Penny, fortune telling. Here we go! <laughs> That'd be so disgusting if they did that. Alright. This wet slap, like... <laughs> anyway, let's not let's just pretend that I didn't say that. <gasps> ah, there it is. This is some kind of castle, like some kind of giant haunted house. Is this who they call the Dark Genie? He's pretty arrogant. Oh, who's this? Looks like he's saying something. Oh, what a huge yawn. Oh, he got up. <laughs> I, love how I love how descriptive she is. Uh, the guy is talking. Planning to destroy another town? Question mark? <gasps> he's like... Oh, hell yeah. I'ma eat me some people, bitches. <laughs> huh? That's all. That dark genie, though. He's got that booty, if you know what I mean. There, that's it. Thanks, Yaya. That was uh, amazing. Anyway, so we now know the location of the moon orb. Although, to be fair, she kind of accidentally revealed to us later on exactly where the moon orb was. And I don't think she really realized it. But anyway, let's see if we can actually talk to her now. Oh, okay. I don't actually know if we went to a cussing. What? A moon orb? What's that? I've never heard of it. Ah, that's pretty sphere mixed up in all the fruit. Um, let's see now. I wonder what I did with it. I think I gave it away to someone who asked for it at the market. I don't remember who I gave it to. Sorry. I've been forgetful lately. Sorry about that. <laughs> that's all right, bitch. I'm just going to have to bitch slap you over and over again until you remember. <laughs> I'm joking, by the way. I'm not. I'm not. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Hang on. Have I... Oh, I thought I put the wrong way around then. Um, but no, sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to... I know I make weird jokes, but I'm not... I'm not that kind of person at all, in the slightest. Um, anyway, uh, so the lady over there seems pretty happy with how she's placed, so I may as well just build some roads to her. If I have enough. Uh, I seem to. Look at that! That's beautiful! That's fucking beautiful! Alright, um... Ah, oh, the Leaning Tower. <laughs> just pop it right here, like, there you go, guys! It's just, just, uh, tower. Uh. Anyway, um... <laughs> just words. Anyway, let's pop... Ah, oh, look at that! Look at how beautiful that looks. Alright. Uh, this one, and then this one. Can we actually go and... I can't remember much about this one. Holy moly. Holy moly. It's Christmas. <laughs> sea killer. Food of Eden. Sky hunter. Ice. Can't say the most useful of things, but I will accept them nonetheless. I was, I was going to say for a sec there, I was like, can I actually get inside that? I was quite surprised, but... I mean, that's, that's quite cool. I mean... Is it like gonna say this is Italy, or are we doing racial stereotypes now? Or I don't even know. What does what does Jack want? I actually have no idea what Jack wants in his uh, location. All right, hello, Jack. Any requests for rebuilding Queens? Let me see. Uh, well, if you say so, I'd really appreciate it if you could put me near the watery. Uh, water's something we all need, right? Watery? Do you mean actually like? Oh, I think this. I think Jack wants to put his. Uh... Little weapon inside of uh, Susie's fresh urn, if you know what I'm saying. Fresh urn. Oh, Jesus Christ, that took a dark turn, didn't it? <laughs> Alright. Um, okay, so he wants to be near Susie. And Susie is near a fountain. I think I can do that. Um, okay, okay, I, I, I can do this. It's weird. This place is quite strange because it has a lot of people wanting to be near each other or near things. Which, in all fairness, is what all of the. <laughs> that's, that's really weird because that's basically what every single one is. Um. But it's quite unusual. Like, I mean, I guess I could put them up here. Nah, it's fine. That'll be fine. All right. Um, everyone like that. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Is that what you meant, Jack? Is that is that good enough for you, my friend? Oh, Jackie boy, is that what you want? Did you want to plow, Susie? What I said, I'd like it here. I won't complain. Okay. So I think I think he's happy with that. All right. <laughs> okay. Awesome. I think he fancies Susie. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it's a bit like the the uh, Momo and that crocodile dude situation again. Um, 
All right, I guess we actually may as well uh, start to finish off the rest of the houses, because I think, except for Jack, well, Jokers, I keep calling a Jack, uh, Jokers, we haven't really got too many other locations kind of ready to go, so, uh, let's do Baskets. I think this is Basket at the bottom here. Oh, no, it's a Basket, okay. Um, more like Tabasco sauce, am I right? Hey -oh. I, I don't know. <laughs> All right, uh, do do do. Okay, let's go see good old Basker. Got anything for us at all around here, Basker? Any uh, gifts for us at all? No, no. Ah, oh, damn. All right. Hello, Basker. I got my fucking moon orb, love. Good. Premium chicken, yes. All right, it's antifreeze amulets. I like it. Okay. Hello, Basker. Um, you're not the one. You're not the f uh, from here, but that's okay. I don't. I don't like snooping around, though. Oh. Oh, okay. I don't like snooping around, though. I'm Basker. I'm a trader. Good to meet you. Well, you're in. Well, uh, well, you're already here. Try to enjoy your queens as much as possible. Uh, yeah. Any request for rebuilding queens? Hmm. Well, nothing in particular, but there is a belief that uh, having a business in a high place, I can do that for you. There's absolutely abundance of space up there at the moment. Um, that is perfectly fine. I'm gonna try and remember that. Uh, do you need anything for their store? Uh, my store is a second floor. I'd really uh, like that back. That's perfectly fine. Awesome. I'd like to think at one point, like, in a real world, if you went up to someone, hey, is there anything you need for your house? You know, it's entirely free. I'm just sort of like, I've got this abundance of stuff, which I need to give it to people. And, you know, I'd like it to have everyone to have the stuff they actually had before. Like, I can imagine, like, the UK, at least, like, someone would be like, well, I had a 500-story house, 12 million maids, and shit like that. I, was, I don't know, like, some kind of stuff, and I don't know. I, I can imagine basically people bullshitting as much as they possibly could. Oh, I can get onto the second floor. How perfect. I will just raid his house while he's not here. It's a really nice looking house. This is actually, to be fair. I didn't actually expect that. It's actually really quite a cool house. I like that. I mean, out of all the houses we've seen so far, I do quite like the little, uh, just like, like the cuteness of that house. Quite cool. Alrighty. So, I'm generally kind of a little bit worried exactly like, uh, Mimic Breaker. What we can kind of do, because we're kind of running out of time for this episode, but I don't want to have the next episode be just like some stuff and then. Ah! I really only want to record three episodes tonight, but I'm like, I really want to get this done because I'm like so close to boss now. I'll tell you what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this episode here. I'm going to see if what we can do is quickly plow through the stuff at the start and then face the boss at the end. Because the boss, I can imagine, might not take as long as I'm kind of worrying it will. So it would make sense to kind of have that add on to the original stuff. So yeah, I guess, cool. I don't know. Anyway, this gentlemen. Um, yeah, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. It's been an absolute love playing this game for you guys as ever. I'm sorry for the kind of like weird episode. It's been pretty damn cool, to be fair. We can discover the end and uh, what was discovered. We're literally at the end of this dungeon now, so it's been pretty cool to kind of plow onto that. And, um, yeah, so ladies and gentlemen, I'm from Alpha, and once again, you guys are beautiful as ever. C'est la vie, hasta vista, and goodbye. Watch out!